we can spend our way out of this crisis. That's one of the main messages of President Obama's sweeping new budget. It includes billions more in government spending on health care, education and energy, even though that means going further into debt. I realize that passing this budget won't be easy because it represents real and dramatic change. But critics say the White House budget is based on assumptions the economy will get better faster than some experts predict. The White House thinks growth will shrink, but only by 1.2 percent this year. Top economists say it'll be almost twice that. The White House thinks GDP will rebound dramatically in 2010 to 3.2 percent. The economists say it won't grow so fast. They do assume that the recession uh, will bottom out and that we will have quite vigorous uh, uh, economic growth uh, starting in 20. 10. Now, that is optimistic. That may not happen. One White House advisor admitted the budget was based on economic figures that were weeks old. And just yesterday, it had one key projection proven wrong. The Commerce Department predicted the economy would contract by 3.8 percent in the last quarter of 2008. It actually contracted by 6.2 percent, the worst quarter since 1982. If the other predictions prove wrong, the White House could have to cut back on some of the proposed programs or raise more taxes or go deeper into debt. The administration counters that if its proposed tax cuts pass, most Americans will have more money to spend, so businesses will start selling more goods again, and that will spell growth. Republicans call that wishful thinking. Washington is in a state of denial. Our spending habits haven't gotten better. They've only gotten worse. More bad news is expected this week. Unemployment figures are projected to reach 8 percent. Mr. Obama's Treasury Secretary and his budget director are going to head to Capitol Hill trying to convince Congress that this new budget is the right economic antidote. Jeff? Okay, Kimberly Dozier in Washington. Kimberly, thank you.